When you poured the yeast into your pizza dough, you probably didn't give it a second thought, but did you know that what you put in there is actually alive? These are yeast, which are unicellular fungi invisible to the naked eye. What does this mean? Unicellular means one-celled, as opposed to having more than one cell. Fungi is the biological kingdom that yeast belong to, along with mushrooms and mold. Yeast play a very important role in cooking and baking because they undergo a process called alcohol fermentation, a process that can also make wine from grapes. In the 1700s, people thought that yeast were just chemicals necessary for fermentation, not real organisms. In fact, the 1755 Dictionary of the English Language by Samuel Johnson called it the ferment put into drink to make it work, and into bread to lighten and swell it. So how does fermentation work, and why should we care about it anyway? To understand fermentation, let's look at what a yeast cell looks like under a microscope. The first step to fermentation is a process called glycolysis. In glycolysis, the yeast cell converts starches and sugars to pyruvic acid. The next step depends on whether or not there is oxygen available to the cell. If oxygen is available, the yeast cell will convert this acid into energy in the mitochondria, or the powerhouse of the cell. If oxygen is unavailable, the cell has to use fermentation to get energy. This is why it's important to cover our dough with plastic wrap and a cloth. For fermentation to even happen, we have to prevent as much oxygen as possible from contacting our dough while it rests. During alcohol fermentation, pyruvic acid is converted into ethanol and CO2, or carbon dioxide, the same gas we breathe out. Those are the air bubbles you feel when you knead your dough after it's rested for a while. By converting the starches and sugars in bread to CO2, our dough gets filled with gas molecules, causing it to rise. Otherwise, our dough will be really flat and won't puff up like we want it to. Fermentation also produces ethanol, an alcohol that evaporates during the baking process. Putting the dough in a warm place allows fermentation to take place more quickly. But remember, yeast is still alive, and if the temperature is too high, they will get killed and your dough won't rise. Now you know that when we allow our dough to rest, we're not just sitting around waiting for the perfect time to make the pizza, we're really allowing the yeast to do their job and make our crust fluffy and delicious. And that's yeast fermentation. <laughs>